All right, here we go. <laughs> we have the beautiful, talented Tamela Jones in the building. How you doing? I'm good. Huge fan of your work. Thank Aww. you so much for coming through. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of classics under your belt as well. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. That catalog is, is heavy. It's I, I You know what? I'm learning to appreciate my past work. I just yeah. was going through the motions while you know, you're working. You're not even mm -hmm. judging about what, what it's going to be. So yeah. it's turned out pretty good. No doubt. <laughs> well, let's start at the beginning. You were born in Pasadena? Yes. So you were an L.A. kid. I'm a native of, of, of California. Okay. And going to high school, you had another... You had classmates who were actors who ended up being actors as well. Yes. Okay. Lark Voorhees, um, Jaleel White. He was younger than me, but he did go to my school. Mm -hmm. And they are really who inspired me to go ahead and pursue acting. Okay, because were they actually... Oh, because their gigs were during high school. Mm -hmm. Ah, they were on their shows. They were. He was oh. a little Urkel yeah. before he you know, grew up on the Urkel show. And there was Lark. She was saved by the bell every Saturday morning. And she huh. was in my class. So she was actually, like, they weren't homeschooled? They were actually going to public high school? Yeah. Oh. Which I think was great. Yeah. Because homeschool, you kind of just lose all the flavor of, you know, the kids and the whole growing up and going to high school. So, so what was that like to have, like, a classmate that's on a huge show like that? Like, you know? I was, um... I was really intrigued at how normal they were. Hmm. I remember seeing, um... Jaleel eating a bag of Cheetos. And I was like, you're an actor, right? He said, yeah. I said, aren't you on a special diet? He was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just okay. intrigued by the fact that they got to do something that they like to do, but still had some some sort of normalcy. Yeah. And I mean, you're kind of seeing the example of like, well, if they could do it, I could do it. Right. Let me, let me look at this. Yeah. Yeah. The role model yeah. situation. Okay. So you started actually like modeling early also, right? Yes. Um, whatever jobs I can get, it was mainly catalog modeling because mm -hmm. I'm a little short for the runway. Um, you know, people would see me in newspaper ads, magazine ads. If you were um, into PV stereo equipment, I <laughs> did a few catalogs for them too. Mm -hmm. um, but modeling kind of just helped me kind of move into the acting thing because you know they always want to see your reel your headshot what have you done okay so, so that was kind of like a little buffer so like when was your first acting gig i was i think i was 14. Uh -huh. it was a uh, an ibm commercial okay and it was pretty cool because i got to pick three people that i went to school with and um they were in the commercial with me okay but what about your first like tv Oh, yeah. first TV was a Saturday morning show called California Dreams. Okay. And you were? I was a surfer girl. Okay. <laughs> and you were how old? Um, I think I was 16. Okay. So 16, you're what, like a sophomore, junior mm -hmm. in high school? Yeah. And now you're on TV. Yeah. And were you taking acting classes, like building up to this? Yes. I went to Lee Strasberg um, Institute for Actors, and I studied with different workshops and Eldridge um, and the last place that I went to, so funny, it was Ernie Lively, which is Blake Lively's father. Mm -hmm. um, I would babysit her to help pay for my acting classes. Okay. So he was he was it, and I still do workshops to this day. Well, I guess in that in that workshop, there was a bunch of other actors who ended up blowing up afterwards. Everyone: Brittany Murphy, Seth Green, Jamie Presley, John Huertas, who I worked with on Castle. He went there too. Like mm -hmm. it was just so many people that are working and have been so successful that went to that acting class. Okay. So you start getting these TV gigs mm -hmm. and I guess you get an agent? Um the agent came from Ann Eldridge acting uh, class. Mm -hmm. they, there was a scout there looking for new talent. She liked what I did in the class. She said, you know what, let's go on a trial base. And the first thing she sent me out was the IBM commercial and I booked it. So that was, that was it. Okay. And you started getting a bunch of TV shows after that. Mm -hmm. uh, the most prominent of which was Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince. It took me forever to get on that show. They were like, you're so young. You're too young. I'm like, but I don't want to work on that show. I I hustled to get on that show. Okay. And it was their last season. 
I made it I like like that that fast. Right, because I remember when that show came out, and you and I are old enough to remember like when Fresh Prince came out as as a rapper. Yeah, you know what I mean. Parents, <laughs> parents just don't understand. Yes, and it was kind of like okay, it was cool. If you were like a hip hop head, you're like, right, this is cool, but it's not like it wasn't like the hottest, no, the hottest shit anywhere. It was like okay, this is kind of cool, kind of pop type rap. Yeah, you know, I think he actually won a Grammy. You know, of course from, he did. You know, <laughs> but and then and then the show came out, and it was like oh, okay, that's that pop rapper. I guess he's acting now, and then the show just started to just become serious like okay this is really an institution now i think um yeah the show was amazing because he was just like a kid that you knew like silly but fun and had some some things to get through but the family was around him to help him get through it mm -hmm. but what i feel really helped that show it was parents don't understand but that summertime yeah summer summer summertime yeah that just gave Will some new coolness. Yeah, that cemented him as like a serious yeah. artist. Yeah. At that point. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was a song he could still play. Yes. To this day. So yeah, I mean, Fresh Prince of Bel Air with Quincy Jones being behind it. Yes. And um, I've actually interviewed Karen Parsons from that show. I mean, I think when the, when the show was over, I think that's one of those things that was hard about leaving the show. It's not just that you have so much fun with these people, but the relationships that you pretend for, you know, six years, you're, you're playing house with these people, you know. Alfonso was my brother, you know, we played this, and, and you know, James played my dad, you know. Ta was my, my sister, like we played these, you start to get used to that, but that's who these people are to you in a strange way. Like they really, Will really is my cousin, and I have this relationship with him. Uh, you ended up doing just one episode or multiple episodes? Just one episode. And I, it was like their second to last for their last season. Mm -hmm. And um, the great part about that was I was able to meet Jeff Pollock. And after, you know, I'd, some time had passed, uh, there was an audition for Booty Call. Mm -hmm. And he was a producer on Fresh Prince, but now he's directing Booty Call. Yeah. So Will is on Sony Lot shooting the first Men in Black, and I'm on my way up to the audition room, and I hear somebody go, Tala! I turn around, it's Will. I'm like, oh my God! He was like, you going up to see Jeff Pollock? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna put in a good word for you. So it kind of was like an extension of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to get booty call, because they both were so involved with me getting that role. But it was just one episode. And you got the role, and you had one of the the key roles yep. in that movie. And Booty Call is like one of these all time classics to this day. It will be my favorite because That's your it was favorite? my first. Yeah, mm, right. That was <laughs> so. That was your first film. It was the first. I had been in um, How to Make an American Quilt mm -hmm. uh, with Winona Ryder and Alfre Woodard. It was really a great story. That was the first time, but then the second time, where I had a larger role, you know, that was that was Booty Call. Booty Call had the saran wrap yes, scene. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> With Tommy Davidson. That scene gets talked about all the time. That was probably the big scene out of the movie. I think so. <laughs> because they both wrapped themselves and had to pop it. Yeah, it was it, I really loved that movie um, because it was my first major role and I got to work with people I had grown up watching. Mm. And Living Color had just ended, and right. then I'm yeah. with Jamie and, and Tommy, and then I watched Vivica, you know, out all night with Patti LaBelle and Dwayne Martin, um, and of course her soap opera days. So mm -hmm. I was just, I was just too hyped. 